Hey buddy, I'm Johnny Scoville. And I'm Papa Scoville. And this, this is, is Chase the Heat. Heat. That was good. We nailed that one. Yes. All right, look at this, you guys, from my friend Scott Clark. Clark, he's garden fresh. His chili pickled onion. You notice every time he does a product, Papa Moose gets it in the year. <laughs> Clark, he's garden fresh. Chili pickled onion. I don't mean that on purpose. Just a joke. I know. You do a good job. You got to let them look see Look at this. It. Look what's on the inside of this, you guys. See those rings? Those are yeah, cut I, I slices of super hot. It's pretty, isn't it? So I'll let you know after I give it oh, a Oh, you know what? Mouth. I forgot that fork after all. Doesn't matter. We can scoop them out with this. And they're stupid because what were we talking about 10 seconds before I pushed play or record? Getting a fork. A knucklehead. All right. So Scott Clark. Thank you, Scott. Scott's in uh, Australia. I did some zucchini uh, uh, stuff he sent me. It wasn't the hottest something or ever in the world from Australia? No, that was a different product. I know, but it was from Australia? Yeah, that was I can't make this, folks. I got to believe it. I haven't uploaded that one yet because it's going to appear on the uh, documentary. This is? No, that video we made. Oh, I haven't really? uploaded for the channel yet because we're, uh, they're going to use that footage maybe in the documentary. Oh, my God. Huh? That's the one that hurt you. Mm. Give you guys a hint of what happened. We had the hottest barbecue sauce in Australia. And uh, I was doing me. the video and I didn't even read the... They're filming here. And so we started it. And as I'm reading it, it said uh, an extract. I didn't realize it, so I put like, uh, I had like four drops on the spoon, and you're like, give me that one. Um, they didn't want to hurt you, so I gave you like one or two drops, and I had a whole tablespoon of it. You did, a, a round And then you, uh, you got, uh, you got hiccups, but then like later on, you got caps, your first cap cramps. Those are a nightmare. Yeah, it's just awful. I took a pain pill, and it was... <laughs> Nothing you could do. You know, it's it like, was bad, very bad. Dead there, done that. All right, so... Uh, let me read you the ingredients, Dad. These could be hot. I'm going to give you a small slice because I don't want to hurt you. All right, so ingredients are onions. Go figure. Uh, vinegar, water, salt, uh, sugar, salt, spices. And here are the peppers that are in here. These, all these little pepper slices that you guys see in, the, in contain within, they are Buccalokia, which are ghost peppers, Carolina Reapers, chocolate Reapers, um, let me show you what a chocolate reaper is. That is going to be a reaper because of the color of it, more than likely. See that darker pod? Is that Jack the Reaper? That's you know, it's not Jack the Reaper, it's your chocolate uh, reaper. A little humor. Yeah. <coughs> very, very little. Very little. Uh, Trinidad Scorpion Cardi. Uh, best used before 2020. I'm going to give this a go. Thank you, Scott. Yep. I'm going to give you very little because you can tell there's heat in this. Here's what you do. You know how they peel the proverbial onion? I'll just give you a small little outside peel. No, no, I want to taste the center as well. I don't want to hurt you, you know? Well, that's too big. That's... So this is what we did. I, uh... And listen, what you smell, you get, you're obviously getting the fact that it's pickled. The vinegar, but boy, there's heat in this. Can you smell, like, just real pepper aroma in there? Oh, yeah. All right, so why don't you grab this teeny little slice you can show people you can you read the newspaper through there so I'm not you can people know I'm if not I can read all right so here's what I kind of slice out of the middle and give it to my dad so from Scott uh, Clark and I'll show you thank you Scott you're gonna put the whole no this is yeah I'm gonna put this whole thing on. this is uh, Clarky's Garden Fresh I'm Johnny Scoville Papa Scoville JC Very nice. Very hot. Is that for you? Yeah. No, too hot? Well, I mean, I wouldn't be not putting them on my steak. You know what? I, I'm going to tell you something. You're going to think I'm crazy. What? Is there sugar in that? Yeah. The first time I bit it, it tasted sugar. I was about to say, oh, this is a laugh. A little more? And it's not, I don't have any pain or anything from it. Those are nice little baby onions, aren't they? Want that? Sure, why not? Okay. Here are my thoughts. You know what's great about, you know what's great about this kind of a product? The longer these onions sit in there, 
the more robust and the more of the pepper flavor and the pepper heat they're going to pick up. In other words, if Scott uh, sealed this, and an hour after he sealed it, we unsealed it and ate one, you're not going to get much heat. You're that. probably going to have to refrigerate that. Put it in my fridge. But um, I like these. You know, you got great onion flavor, certainly a pickled onion. No. Okay. No thanks. Let's talk about heat for a minute. I would think, before, don't give me your rating yet. I'm going to tell you what the rating is, I think, for somebody who's never eaten anything hot. I'm going to give them the rating of somebody who kind of eats it a lot, eats spicy that's into it, and then my rating. I think if you're somebody who's never eaten anything hot before, and you sat down and you ate one of these, and I don't mean a little slice. Let's say you put a whole little onion bulb in your mouth. Um, it would really get your attention. If you've never eaten anything hot, you'd probably say it was like a 7, maybe on a scale of 1 to 10. And you know what? If you gave it to a little kid, he'd tell you it was a 10. I mean, it's, it's warm. If you're somebody who's used to eating heat, <coughs> what I think his scale is going to be because you listen you know what you know you probably don't believe this but I mean it's not your your tolerance is higher than most people oh yeah if we grab Phil next door pull Phil over here and gave him he cursed like a sailor it'd be fun it'd be funny but if you gave us like uh, remember the time you and I had that super hot I can't remember what it was you had a slice of a super hot pepper remember that yeah you, all right you, you, I, I just think your, your tolerance is hot higher I think you, the yeah. average, I think you would probably find it on a scale of 1 to 10, probably a 4. Oh, God, that he's right. Is that what you're going to say? Yes. So I think, if you're, yeah, I believe it. I'm good at this. Eh? Eh? Not your first rodeo. Not my it. first. So if you're somebody who's eating hot stuff, you'd probably find this to be a 4. It, it doesn't really move my needle. I mean, I can tell there's something warm in there, but does it, it's not hot for me at all. At all? No. No, no number on this scale? One. I'm being generous, but Scott, anybody that watches this show knows that I'm a little off. I don't know about that, but some of the people who you've run into or know in this community, some of them are going to hurt themselves. <clears throat> it's interesting because I have sauce makers that will send me a bottle of sauce, and it's hot. And I'll do a review, and I'll say it's like a two. Now... If they, if I was somebody they didn't know, they, they'd be like, "What? It's a two. They kind of all know me by now, so they know that if I say something's a two for me, I usually come in about, truly, I come in about five points lower than the average person. So something that's a two for me is usually around seven for somebody else. Somebody, some, some, a ten for somebody is usually only about. Maybe a, well, well, how about our rating? How does that work? What do you mean? I said four. Yeah, I, that's the, I, well, I do. I always give three ratings. A, a rating for somebody who doesn't eat anything hot. A rating for somebody who chases the heat. You. All right. And some and me. My scope. Oh, I have my sauce company coming out. It's going to have three different uh, heat ratings on the side. One for somebody who doesn't eat anything hot. One for the Skull of the Squad. And my rating. That's brilliant. I thought so. You know what else is going to be kind of cool? Well, I shouldn't say that yet. Yeah, I don't want to release that. I was going to... I noticed that this fellow put in a, a, a best before 2020. February 2020. Which is comical because this stuff won't be around in 2020. I'm going to polish these off fast. These are great. I love them. Tasty as can be. They're, they're tasty. Yeah, they really are. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. I got, oh, oh, you know what else I have? Talk about it. I got some great pickled beets, he said. I love pickled beets. I love beets. We're gonna try. I do too. I'm a huge beet fan. I love them. And my... And whole we eat them with. You know, you like. Um, I think a lot of my fla like flavor things. Are, um, yeah, because of you. And by the way, you know what? I've been lying to people all along on this channel. I totally forgot. It just occurred to me recently that I've been lying since the beginning. Why? Well, mistake. Well, yeah. You know, well, yeah. They asked me what my first endorphin rush. What really got me into peppers? Eating jalapenos, or you know, that time at the pizza joint where I put too much. Pe uh, yeah. but you know what? You know the first peppers I ever ate in my life were pepperoncini. Oh, they're good. I know, but I've totally forgot about them. When I was a kid, I was this big eating pepper and cheese. The whole one, oh, I like oh, they're them. They're great. But that's, that was kind of my first thing. But anyway, guys, listen, I'm gonna put, if you guys are in Australia, there is no reason why you don't go to the description box, click the link for Clarkie's Garden Fresh. Get yourselves a jar of this. And listen, guys, this is no little jar. Look at the size of that thing. I'm so yeah, fired up about this. That's incredible. What, what would it that just sell gets, for? You have any idea? Why? You, got, you want this? I'll give it to you. No. no, I don't know what it would sell for. You know, I'm not really sure, but it's a liter, which is amazing. So it's a good question. Go to the description box, click the link for, for Scott and Clark. He's fresh. He's a good guy. Yeah. I know what I was going to ask him. 
the the, uh, the guy that sent us the two uh, sauces, the green and the red, they were... Uh, the salsas. It was yeah. a different company, yeah. Different uh, company down in Florida. Are they hot? I the green. Um, no. I like to get the green one like it was a bowl of soup. Yeah, it's that almost gone. so good. We get you some more of that. Stuff's great. Yeah, we like that stuff. You did. I'm and the it. red was good, too, but the green was particularly good. Yep, you definitely were fond of that. It was a funny video. You were like, you want <laughs> more and more of it. Um, I could do that with these. These are great. In fact, I'm going to have one more. Um, actually, I won't. We'll wrap this video up. Um, come out to see me, you guys. I, I mentioned this on the video this morning, but it's worth mentioning again in case you missed the video. I'm going to be in Fort Mill. I think it's 183 Main Street. I'm just about positive that's the location. Give me one second. What, what kind of a building is it? Is it uh, let me see. You don't know. He, uh, he, he, uh, let's see. Give me a second. Uh, yeah, well, what we're going to be is this. It's gonna, we're going to be all meeting. This is a meet and greet. First ever Scoville Squad meet and greet. It's going to be fun. Of course, I have them in different countries all the time at the festivals, but this is the first time we're gathering other than for a festival or at a big event. This is really exciting. Um, Three o'clock um, at Fort Mill Confederates Park. All right, bandstand. It's a Confederates Park bandstand. It's at 183 Main Street, uh, Main Street in Fort Mill. The zip, in case you want to Google that thing or use your GPS, is 27, uh, 29715. What it is, it's an historic wooden gazebo open to the whole, all the public, near, right near Main Street, uh, Street, where the event's going to be held. Um, the, everybody in the town and the, all the town authorities know that this is going on, so we're cool about sitting there meeting. No one's going to give us a hard time. The traffic's not going to be blocked off for us, but hopefully there's a lot of you guys that come hang out. We'll have at least, I think we're going to have at least a couple hours just to kind of mingle and chill. So come out and see me if you're in the Fort Mill area on Saturday at 3 p.m., uh, 183 Main Street, Confederate Park. Uh, Confederate, uh, Confederate Park is, uh, Bandstand. The other guys, the yeah. great. So come see me. Uh, you know, um, we haven't been invaded by anything yet. Lord Bowers. We've gotten pretty lucky. You know what the deal is? There's something about being back here. When I used to make videos in the front, every single time, every and, single time. And this time, is a quiet. We've been we've been very very lucky shooting them back here. I, you know, when I first did it, I was like, eh, I'm not really sure because you get the, the road traffic closer to the. But the road track, like here it is, the Doppler effect, right? There, it's already biased. You may have. It's gone. It's not like a motorcycles. where the lawnmower is going the whole time. Yeah, motorcycles get your attention. Still pretty good. You know, sometimes <laughs> I'll do a video during like rush hour traffic or everybody's commuting to work or coming home. And That's rough. It's drag, but still pretty good back here. All right. Um, you thanks for having me. Uh, right here. Where is it? Right, right here. Right between your head. See that pepper? That is the family crest. Click that, become a part of what we're doing, all right? And then your journey essentially becomes mine and vice versa. If you don't want to miss a video, you don't need to. Click the bell for notification, it'll notify you. But thanks for hanging out. I'm Johnny. I'm Papa. This was Chase the Heat.